I've forgotten where you said we're going. I thought we'd get, take a ride down to um, Aesgarth, Aesgarth Falls. Aesgarth Falls. Mm. Well, Aesgarth Falls, they filmed a scene there from Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. I thought you were going to say Harry Potter then. No. Well, I don't think they have. <laughs> <laughs> but it was um, Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. It was the scene with where he were fighting little John, who'd just met little John on the river. Cup of tea, no breakfast yet. Oh. It's really early. It's too early to eat. Sometimes it's too early to eat. So, <clears throat> might as well just get, get on out and go do your thing. You can stop any time. We can have a porridge. They make a porridge in the back, can't we? We can. Or, we could even find a breakfast. Who knows? Nice fry up. You see something with the tent? No, I can't. Where? Well, you... Is it Where? Behind, is it in behind bridge? Oh, I can see it now. Oh, there you see him. Car's tucked in there as well. That's a neat little spot. Yeah. Yeah. That's a really neat little... Look, film back. Did you film from there? Can you see it? It's behind the wall. Might have to jump out. What? Well, I'm going to... Do you want me to spy on Go on. Me? No. Oh, he's having a poo. Quick, film him. <laughs> go on. Let's go. Oh, yeah. There he is. There he is. That's all right. Good for you, mate. Happy camping. That's all right. Do you oh. buy it? I don't know how much it is yet. I'm just having a look. It will be way beyond my... Uh, thingy. Well, this Wesleyan Chapel, built in 1882, is for sale. And he thinks he wants to buy it. Not much of a garden. <laughs> There's this unit thing at back, I don't know what it is. There's a garden there. What? Well, that's not. That's a <laughs> graveyard. I know, it's still in use as well. People putting flowers out still, so. Yeah. Go on. Go round. Oh, it's got air, air source heat pumps. Are they. What air are so, they? Air source heat pumps. All right. I thought it was some kind of air conditioning unit. Might be somebody's house. Somebody might be living in it. I can see a. A bathroom that's been converted there. I think it's been developed. Do you think somebody lives in it? I think somebody... No, I think it's first time development. Uh, you know, first development, if that makes sense. I think it's been developed by somebody. He's actually got three floors, so you've actually got upstairs accommodation. Room. Might be somebody living in it, James. I've just realised. Kitchen. Well, that's what I thought. I, I thought oh, she's being a bit. Eh? I thought she was being a bit cheeky. No, it's um. If you look here, they're in the mid, mid doing it up. It's a door upper, as they say. I think it's a. I think somebody's done it up, and it's the first time somebody is going to be turning it into the residential accommodation. Come on, you can dream all you like, but you can't have it. It's a beautiful location. It is, isn't it? Look at that view Look at of that. opposite. But you've got no garden. But then again, if you're not into gardening, which we're not, but you've got, you have to have a... Me? Gardening? Exactly. I can't garden. Have a couple of pots out the front here and you put your plastic plants in it. Well, it's... patio set and your barbecue. Oh, it's nice though, isn't it? Oh, it's lovely. It's lovely. They'd keep you awake at night, these sheep. Well, <laughs> I'd say I'd rather put up with them sheep than the current neighbours we have. <laughs> Indeed. What's this bush, tree, plant, a, flower thing? That's a bud there. It's nice. Mm. I don't, see, I don't know anything about plants. No, it's a bud there. 
Look at that. It's probably got some Latin name, but widely referred to as the butterfly bush. <laughs> Come on then. Indeed, they're open, but she's got no staff until 10. So if we wanted breakfast, we'd have to hang around here for another 49 minutes. Do you want to hang around here? I do. Really? Let's have a little snoop around. We're in wreath. It's and I'm. It's on the Pennine Way. Is it on the Pennine Way? I'm hungry. I want to fry up. And it's just been into the copper kettle kitchen. And apparently, they're open. Well, the door's open. Lights are off. We've got to wait till 10 o'clock, though. She's got no staff. So, in. we'll have a little look around here. There's I'll look in the window first, see what they do for breakfast. We're going to park up somewhere. No, I'm going to have a quick look at the menu board. See what's, see what's what. All right, then. We do various things for the breakfast, the, the full breakfast, including black pudding, which we offered us to substitute for something else, it is 11 squid. Anyway, shall we have a little snoop round this? Is uh, it a village, Wreath? I guess it's probably a village. It's almost a town. Let's have a little snoop round. Come on then. Where to first? I mean, it's not exactly the biggest of places, is it? Let's have a little look down here. So we're parked outside the King's Arms Hotel and there's no vacancies. Does that mean there's no vacancies to stay or no vacancies to work? It says lease this pub. Know. It does look a little bit run down. I think it may not, may even be not in use. Yeah. Because it's up for lease and there's rubbish dumped outside and this looks a wee bit tired. Uh, is this pub here, the Black Bull Hotel? I might be able to get something to eat there. Breakfast. Yeah. Possible. Should we check this out? It's a little loop. A Black Bull Hotel. Hope they do a nice fry up. I'm starving. Fresh home cooked food. Food served. Oh. Not until 12 though. What do you think? Of what? Food. They don't serve till 12. Oh. They don't do breakfast. All right then, come on. Oh, I don't know what to do. What should we do? Well, I think we should. Walk up to the buck. The buck? Yeah. Okay. And go, and go just beyond it. That's what's called passing the buck. Oh, it's a bakery. I can see a bakery. Hmm? There's a bakery up there. Well, they're selling breakfast from nine o'clock here. Every Saturday and Sunday between 11, sorry, 7. Yeah, full breakfast, yeah. Yeah, breakfast, yeah. Oh, there you go. Did you go here for breakfast? The book. Oh, it's as good a place as any, isn't it? The, um... Come on, then. The other place. Is it open? It's another half an hour for the other place, yeah. All right. I assume. Come on, then. No, it's not. It's not open. <laughs> I think I might call this, uh video can't get out to eat <laughs> <laughs> in the dales might have another entrance oh god we're now passing the book we're passing the book there you go i'm always right it's open after all <laughs> there you go oh yeah you all right yeah not bad not bad uh breakfast you doing breakfast nope Oh. No, we do breakfast Saturday and Sunday. So we went to the pub. <laughs> half nine in the morning. Serves breakfast. On a weekend. Today's Monday. <laughs> we're, not, we're not doing very well here, are we? Nope. I'm hungry. Really hungry. Should we check out this uh, oh, thingy? Let's, pop up there let's have a look up here. See, see, what, see what... He recommended that copper kettle, didn't he? Slightly it? over but, there. Um, oh, yeah. We're going to check out this... Uh, Bakery. Mm, you're chopping our heads off. Yeah. Sorry, don't mean to chop our heads off. Oh, starving! We should have had a porridge. Oh, yeah. Porridge just doesn't cut 
Let's eat some well, you didn't even want porridge this morning, and now suddenly you, you're like... Oh, look, there's a biscuit on the floor. <laughs> there's a biscuit on the floor. <laughs> breakfast. A breakfast biscuit. Not open till 10. Oh, not open at all today. Well, what shall we do? It's kind of Truman Show breakfast, isn't it? Truman Show breakfast. We know how he can never get what he wanted and everything got in his way and whatever. Truman Show. Truman. That's why you're trying to drive out of a town or something and cars keep coming across and blocking your exit and stuff. That's Truman Show. Yeah, but everything he does, he gets thwarted by, doesn't he? I'm tempted to have this biscuit. <laughs> I'm not hungry. But I won't. Might be a dog biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> Oh look, it does say over there. What? What? Breakfast served here every Saturday and Sunday. Ah. So there you go. <laughs> Should have just read the sign. Don't get run over. Oh, almost. You now she see me. You see that? Yeah. Nearly got run over. I don't think he even realised. I looked at him and he kind of looked at me as if to say, oh, good morning. <laughs> I'd like to think I could have something to eat before I died. You know, <laughs> last meal and all that. <laughs> even them on death row get, you know, oh, they could request a, a last meal of their choice. Well, We've had a change of plan, haven't we? What have we decided oh, to do? Some door's not shut right. There you go. What have we decided we're going to do? We're going to head on to his next destination, which is where? He's got falls. Yeah, he's got falls. Mm. So we decided that on his way there, we're going to find somewhere nice to park up, nice and quiet, and we're going to make something for ourselves. And it's just gone 10 o'clock. So up. is it brunch or is it classed as our breakfast still? So we're going to do what? We're going to have a wrap with cheese and pepperoni and anything else we can find to throw in it because I am starving. Right, I'll just mention. What? Well, I said earlier that this was on the Penna Way, which is completely wrong. It's actually on the coast to coast. Right. Okay. I need to set this coat off, I'm warm. Uh, yeah. I this is Fremington. Is it Fremington? That's what it said. Oh, right. Fremington. We've left... Um, where was that where we left? Wreath. We've left Wreath. We're in <laughs> Fremington. Right, I'm going to set this coat off because it's... Well, it's 23 degrees and I've got a coat on <laughs> still. <laughs> so... We've decided to make his own breakfast brunch thing. If it doesn't, if it doesn't blow away. <laughs> We've got... Got a lot of cheese. Cheese. Pepperoni. Wraps. And wraps. And some... And brown sauce. Wraps. Nice and gonna, spicy. Are you going to do a meat rich monkey, aren't you? Of course. Right, well, let's have a look where we parked up. Right, nice view for a brunch. Nice, decent sized car park. I bet mm. you can't overnight in here. Did you say you can't? Well, I'm just going to look over here because there's a sign and it's on its back. It's either blown over or being knocked over. There's lots of no, no, no's on here and don't do this and don't do that. Dogs on leads, no barbecues, no littering, and no camping. Yeah, so you wouldn't be able to park overnight here. Didn't say no overnight parking though. Well, it just says no camping. So you can't. Not that we need to. No, but I'm saying it's overnight camping, but it doesn't say anything about no sleeping in a vehicle overnight. So, not else? that we need to, but I'm just saying. It kind of amounts to the same thing though, do not it? No, no, I don't think it does. Camping? Well, what would you do? You'd sleep, wouldn't you? Yeah, but it's camping is with the use of a tent, I would have said. 
Can I eat more? Well, we don't need to anyway because it's 10 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> so there we go, go on. So we've got cheese, a lot of cheese, using it up. What's that? Pepperoni. What's what? That mould? It's, um, it's fine. I'll have that one. Oh, come on, open it up. Right, okay. So that one's mine, isn't it? How do you know? Well, that's where I put it. Oh you no. went to the one that had... You up. need a scraper. No, just need to do that. Okay. Put mine across here. Okay. There we go. Okay. And try these out then. Put these somewhere where they're not going to burn a hole in anything. <laughs> I don't know where you're going to fit them. Are you going to leave them? So we might run over them. Air traffic controller, or what are they called? <laughs> You're just going to wave your ridge monkey pans about on an, on an airfield. <laughs> They'll be Boeing 747s landing all over the place. You've heard Ed Edward Scissorhands, I'm Edward Panhands. <laughs> this way he bites into it, the che melted cheese squirts out and skulls your lip. Not that now, will say. Mmm. Just left it for a bit longer. <laughs> we finally made it to Aesgarth's Falls, and there's an upper and middle and a lower fall. So we're going to go and find the ones higher up first, aren't we? No, this is the ones low. This is the one lower down, I think. Or ones lower down, I think. Well, go to the lower see. falls first, I think. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. No, the ones higher up, further higher up. I think this is lower falls, but oh, I, think, I, don't I don't know. Well, we'll find out, won't we? <laughs> I wish we knew what we were doing sometimes. I know. Well, I had to ask. The way we were lost while we were still in the car park. I can see some people going through a gate here, so we'll go through there. A nice, pleasant walk on a summer's day through a canopy of leaves. It's nice and shaded, isn't it? Yeah. Because we've been complaining about the cold all year, and now we've got some decent hot weather, we're complaining about it being too hot, aren't we? All right, actually, because we're quite shaded under this. Oh, this is nice, yeah. Yeah. I know the whole thing's fine, really. I'm just saying people, yeah. people do complain about it being too hot. I'm hoping, because I know last time I came here, mm -hmm. there was a nice place that does nice ice cream. Mm. Mm, it says, Ooh. no barbecues and no fires. What's the matter with you? Why are you pulling a funny face? <laughs> Kissing gate. <sighs> Come on, let me out. Oh. Blimey. Call fry little fish. The, yeah, the fry. are they edible? No. You sure? Yeah. You sure? Even if you fry them. You need to stop with these jokes. The rubbish. I don't know whether it's since lockdown or or um, whatever that people have 
chose to do more things like this. I mean, there's places like that Linton Falls near Weatherby that um, we used to go to as kids. But I don't remember these having loads of people kind of doing this kind of stuff. Well, I think you're wrong, because I've seen loads of people do this in years gone by. I'm probably wrong. I've seen it loads of times. Yeah, maybe I'm wrong. Last, well, the time, first time I came here, it must have been about 20 years ago, and people were doing this. Yeah. It's maybe nice. I, maybe I just went when it was raining and they didn't bother to come out. It's getting me an ice cream. Just needs to cross this road. No. <sighs> oh. Right, here we go. Look at the size of that. £4.50. Fantastic value. It's the mm. Mill Race Tea Shop. Two scoops, four pounds fifty. And like you said, it's massive. It's like the Olympic torch. That. That it's is. Huge. I think it has to be the biggest ice cream I've had in my life. It's good value. Well, I'd say that is bigger with two scoops than a lot of places would do for three scoops. It's huge. In I think it's really good value. It's really nice ice cream. I've got salted caramel at the bottom, mm. and I've got lemon meringue. It's really lemon nice. Lemon meringue, you. Mm. What have you got? Salted caramel at the bottom, and rum and raisin. Wearing it. It's pretty quicker because it's melting fast. Mm. Have right. a taste. I'll taste of yours. Mm. Mm. Oh, that's nice. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Shall we eat this and then... Uh... Mm. Well, I've got seconds. I can lick off my moustache later if I want seconds. <laughs> Alright then. Oh, gorgeous. The best. And it's very, like you said, it's very currently apt because it's like the Olympic flame. <laughs> it's as big as... Right, we need to eat this because it yeah, will melt. We're, we're going to stop filming. Alright. We need to eat. Right, we're heading hopefully towards our next park up. We've got some... Um, it used to be a good place to camp. I don't know if there'll now be no park, no camping signs there or, or what will be. Through desert hills and snowy pines, my Arkansas took me by surprise. Let me tell you that I tried to find a state more pleasing to the eye. I took a picture everywhere I went. Captured sunsets from the sky Witness the Oregon sunrise but Arkansas took me by surprise Oh, spend a little time You'll know what I mean Oh, if I had more time So here we are. So we've got the blinds. We've got your comfy space for the evening, my comfy space for the evening. Everything's set up. Do be careful, it might be slippy. James, no, 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 no. No, that's too deep. You can't get across. Blooming egg. I'm not doing that. Come on. I am not. I can't jump that. I've got short legs. Keep telling you. Well, there's a tractor coming. I made the river, but I'm going to get run over. Filming me, filming you. Filming me, filming you. Uh -huh. Not too shabby, is it? Now, the only issue is getting back across the river. Do be careful. It's easy. It's, it's not uphill, it's downhill. Oh. <gasps> 
<laughs> Look at that park up, eh? Honestly, I don't think we've had a lot of terrible park ups, have we? Very, very few and park far between. Very few and far between. I think we're quite good at choosing park ups. We do use park for night, but we don't rely on it, do we? And we, we, we rely on our own judgment. This isn't on park for night. We use it, but as a guide, little more. There's been so many park, park ups for park night that we've not used. And uh, we've found so many amazing park ups that have never been on park for night. So, yeah. It's brilliant. We've got the whole place to ourselves now. So far. So far. Mind you, if some other camper comes along, I'm not bothered. It's, it's half five. It's half five. <laughs> we might get one. Yesterday we got one turned up about half six or something, didn't they? But they just had a bed for the night and moved on. Well, I'm happy with this. Who wouldn't be? Through the trails of Arkansas, let me tell you what I saw. Oh, it took me by surprise. I've been around the country twice. Through desert hills and snowy pines, but Arkansas took me by surprise Let me tell you that I tried To find a state more pleasing to the eye I took a picture everywhere I went Captured sunsets from the sky Witnessed the Oregon sunrise But Arkansas took me by surprise